Well, it looks like I've got another video for you, and this time I want to talk to you about the process to making money online. Because this can be confusing, and so many people want to make money in this industry, but they're not quite sure how exactly it's being done. And I totally, I totally understand how frustrating it can be to make any money if you're not going through the right process. This is actually something that I struggled with big time in the beginning because it wasn't like there were entire sites out there dedicated to teaching this stuff. So sometimes it takes a little while to kind of figure everything out. So I'll try not to make things too boring during this video, but I do want to cover four elements that will teach you the process of how money is made on the internet. Granted, I'm not promising that you'll make money for doing just these four steps. Big surprise here, you have to actually put in work to become successful. Who knew? So again, all this is going to depend on how much work you put into it. And I know, trust me, I know working sucks. It'd be great to sit around all day and fish and hang out with your buddies and get paid for it. But an internet business doesn't work that way. And, and it's no different than any other business. You know, you have to actually show up and put work into it to make it successful. So the first step is to come up with an idea. Really, it's best to create a business around something that you're already knowledgeable in or at least have a huge interest in. And the reason why you want to do this is because it will keep you going throughout your business and keep you from burning out or quitting. And personally, I believe that you really need to have a lot of passion for what you do so it becomes fun instead of feeling like something that you have to do, like you have to go to work. But the easiest way that I've found to come up with ideas is to do lots of research. Now mainly you need to do lots of research to make sure your business is something that's in demand to begin with because obviously if there's no demand for what you do then it will be really hard to make any money. But you also need to do your research to find out what people want. And a good way is to start by just googling some different topics and see what the demand is like. So you can check out uh, forums or blogs or even Facebook but what you want to do is look around for things that interest you and also have a high demand within the industry. So generally things that a lot of people are talking about. Now the next element that you have to have is a storefront. This is important. And what I mean by this is that you need to set up a website or a blog. And I have voiced my opinion several times on how I feel blogs just dominate websites because there is much more interaction and it breeds a more personal connection between everybody you know but that's my opinion so it's going to be your choice for which one you want to go with so you have to have a fully functional site set up to operate your business and if you don't know how to set this up don't worry it's actually very simple and i actually show how to do all this stuff in my six part video guide called beginner's blueprint like how i kind of slipped that in there i know it kind of sounds like i'm doing a sales pitch here but i'm honestly not and i'm not trying to make this sound like a sales pitch and you know anything crazy like that this really is 100 percent free and you can learn everything you need to know step by step with screen capture videos. So if you do need help setting up a fully functional site, then you can get access to these videos through my site at charlesrivera.com. Or if you already know how to do all this stuff, then great. You're already a few steps ahead. That's going to be a huge element to making money online is making sure that you have a complete website or complete blog, whichever. Okay, so the third element to making money online will be getting people to come to your site. You have to have people to keep your business going. There's no way around that. And if you found a way, please let me know. And this is probably the most difficult part for any internet marketer because when you think about how big the internet is and all the millions of people that use it every day and how you have this one tiny little website that nobody's heard of yet. So it's kind of like that old analogy of a small fish in a big pond or I guess in this case, it's more like a small fish in the entire ocean. But that's okay. That just means you can't settle for being average. You have to actually push your way to the top by gaining popularity. Uh, so one of the easiest ways to bring in a lot of traffic right now is through social media. Facebook and YouTube in particular. Twitter may help a little, but Facebook and YouTube are a much better place to focus your efforts. And without going real in depth on, on all the details, for gaining traffic to your site because there's a lot of them. Uh, I'll just quickly talk about these two media outlets for right now. All right, Facebook, as you know, is a social giant. And if you're not using Facebook, then you're really missing out on tons of traffic. So you're gonna need to set up what's called a fan page. 
and also check into creating a group or actively participating in targeted groups because the key to generating quality traffic is going to really rely on focusing on your targeted audience. So along those same lines involves being active throughout Facebook with lots of comments, lots of useful comments, mind you, and of course, interactions, because that's what social networking is all about, being social. Now, the other area to focus on is YouTube, and we all know how much of a video monster YouTube is. So yes, this means you gotta break out of your little shell and shoot some videos, probably of yourself. And I know, it's scary. But actually, the more you shoot the videos, the quicker you'll get over that fear. And YouTube in itself can drive tons of traffic to your site. Because, you know, what better place to build that person-to-person -person connection, kind of, than with video. Where they can somewhat kind of meet you up close and get a, a good feel of what kind of person you are and what kind of stuff you can do for them. Now, it's an amazing tool. And the fourth element to the process of making money online is building a connection and maintaining that connection with your customers or friends, as I like to call them, because that's essentially what we're doing here is building friendships and trust to fuel our business. And uh, this is actually done in a few different ways, like personally answering your emails, which I'm really big on. I enjoy answering everybody's emails, uh, getting involved in comments on your blog, uh, sending out emails to your autoresponder, uh, let's see, interacting through social media pages like we just talked about, you know, Facebook and stuff. Uh, and of course, the biggest one, biggest one of all, providing lots of value, giving them lots of quality information that benefits them. So I know this is kind of a brief overview of the process to making money online, but it's important that you follow this process and be consistent with your business. That, that could actually be another element to this whole process, staying consistent with your business, no matter what the results, just keep going. So again, just to quickly recap, the process to making money online is an idea, your niche, creating a website or a blog, generating traffic to your site, and then relationship building. So apply these four elements to your business and consistently keep working at it and you will see results. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any ideas that I didn't cover, which you probably do, please leave a comment below this video and let us all know. We'd love to hear them. I'll see you later. Take care.